Hi, and welcome to How to Use the Seed Data Tutorial. My name is Laura Height. I am the Client Trainer here at Coaster VMS. So we're going to start with a completed file, of course. Uh, the seed data is an automatic review of the appraisal here at Coaster. We do two reviews of every appraisal. We do an automatic review, an automated review, and we also do a manual review. So the seed data is actually the product of the automated review. So you're going to select the seed data tab. And what's going to happen is it's printing out a checklist of the report, of any red flags or anything that uh, could possibly need a revision is going to um, red flag it for you. And it also does a complete breakdown of the appraisal. So instead of having to scroll through everything, you can access the sales grid, the photos, the approaches, comments, uh, nearby sales this, uh, through here as well. So when we first select the tab, what we see is a basic overview of the subject property, the appraiser, contract information, any appraisal alerts, and the appraised value. This tab right here is going to allow you to navigate through the seed data. We're going to then select the checklist. The checklist is used, um, it's a really helpful tool for underwriting. As you scroll through, anything in the gray or green um, is going to be fine, uh, hasn't been flagged. As you scroll, you will, will encounter either a red or pink color, and it's going to ask you for a manual review. Um, so this one is, is put info checked and completed on page one of your review RAR. You couldn't tell, so it's asking for a manual review. As you're scrolling, it's just giving you a breakdown and a checklist of the, of the appraisal. When we get to subject value, there is a red flag here. Subject value is higher than predominant value. Phrase value is 428, predominant value is 380. Um, this section allows you to make comments. So here you could say appraiser made comments in the addendum. And from there, that's going to notify anyone else that's looking at the file that the there is a comment about the subject's appraised value being higher than the predominant value. You can go down and scroll more and see if you find any more uh, red flags. And what is that? There we go. So as we scroll back up, we can go now to the UCDP. So any UAD violations that were flagged when we were getting the SSRs, it's going to be a printout right here. The sales grid, we're going to have the subject property and the comparable sales right here. And it's going to have all the line adjustments. It's very similar to how appraiser, appraisal software looks. And it's going to have the net and gross um, and the next three comps on another page. Everything's line by line. So then we'll go from the sales grid to the photos. This is going to be all of the photos that were in the appraisal, including the subject sketch and any market graphs that the appraiser has decided to add into the report. So, you can just scroll through these the photos, make sure everything's there, and it is. Go from photos to the approach. So if the cost approach was required, all that information would be there. If the income approach was, was required, that would be here as well. And any PUD information. Comments. This is going to be where the appraiser is explaining what he did and why he did it, of course. Um, if the appraisal had an addendum, it would come right after the comment, but this report uh, does not have an addendum, so there's no section for it. Nearby sales, this is going to be the subject property and the comparables that the appraiser used. This can also be customized to show all recent sales in the area within a certain amount of time. It's based on your lender, um, what the lender wants. From nearby sales, we can submit a condition. So if you were using this for underwriting, purposes, you can go directly from the breakdown of the report to asking for a condition or you know, an additional comparable. From here, to upload any files you would need to, select submit a condition, and it will go directly to the appraiser. And that is how we view our C data. Thank you so much.